Hey guys, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading where today we will be talking about people's first impression of you. But we will have two piles uh, to choose from, so you can pick between these uh, open and left piles. So pick one of these and we will check what's people's first impressions of you. So pile one, pile two. So for those of you who chose this option. What's people's first impressions? What's people's first impressions of you? <laughs> so pile one. I just feel like you're somebody, people see you as this person who is preferring to live their life kind of in a slow lane, if that makes sense. Uh, because I do have these eight of wands reversed and star reversed. Uh, mostly they see you as somebody who is kind of choosing a slow life for yourself because you are uh, trying to achieve as much uh, of a healing as you can in a way, basically. And then also we do have Knight of Pentacles reversed and Six of Cup. Uh, so people could be perceiving you as somebody who has uh, more than one professional project uh behind yourself so <clears throat> basically a lot of you are well established in your lives and it's almost like you have tried more than one thing in order to get where you are today who you are now and so with the death people feel uh, that your life has been very transform transformative in a way especially in the professional sense so that's something definite but people also with the Six of Pentacles kind of feel like you're somebody who is switching a lot your sense of personal balance when it comes to give and take. So uh, I do feel like for a lot of you, uh, it's almost like you are generous to a point uh, or like you are generous with moderation or something like that. Uh, I do feel like with the Prince of Pentacles reverse. Some of you may have had a bad share when it comes to your friendships or something like that. Uh, so people kind of feel like you prefer a smaller uh, circle of friends or uh, there's a really powerful sense of discrimination when it comes to how you uh, choose your acquaintances, friendships, etc., etc. Uh, with the Ace of Wands reversed, it's almost like people are kind of Feeling for some of you that you are choosing to uh, gel with people who are like a comfort zone for you, for in a way. Uh, and that this all has some sort of greater purpose behind it, is what I'm sensing. You yourself are a very fun individual. They feel like you're somebody with a temperance who's not even trying as much, however... Uh, your charisma still conquers and there's also this element of effortless intuition with you guys so especially like effortless intuition when it comes to which things to end in your life especially romantically some of you may have dealt with Scorpio Sun Moon rising you may have ended things with them or uh, <clears throat> Yeah, there is a definite feeling like you have managed to, uh, how do I say, put a period on a certain situation. Is it a period or a comma? <laughs> My brain is not functioning. 
period, I feel. Um, but yeah, I just feel like people, they almost feel like this. you are this person who has this intuitive understanding. <coughs> Sorry for the caffeine, guys. <coughs> They have, that you have this intuitive understanding uh, on when to be withhold your actions from certain events, people, uh, situationships, etc., etc. But you are a very loving individual. However, I feel like for a lot of people, it's almost like they sense this side. However, they don't know where you are channel uh, channeling it. Uh, so... People could be like uh, wondering whether you have like secret affairs or whether you have like secret interests. You know how all of us, uh, we can have like uh, love in the form of an interest, mental interest or a uh, hobby or some sort of a passion that we do. <clears throat> but I also feel like you're somebody who is more old school. Uh, some of you could be slightly more old school when it comes to how you approach uh, your job, your work, your profession. It's almost like you're not all up for the innovation as much. <clears throat> you like to stick uh, to the proven methods is what I'm sensing, is what people are seeing about you guys. I know for some of you people may have uh, felt like you could have like anxious avoidant attachment style, uh, those that are psychologically intuitive when they first meet you or something like that. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. You do have the uh, Leo in fourth house. I just feel like people feel like you know, you're somebody who knows how to comfort yourself. You know how to cater to yourself. You know how to <clears throat> make your uh, environment aesthetic and beautiful and you also know how to uh how do I say yeah cater to yourself basically so you're not waiting on anybody else to do that uh for you so that's a definite one in this pile <clears throat> you also do have the cancer in uh nine house so for a lot of you people uh People feel like you, it's almost like something about your relationship with dominant males in your life. So like your connection to your father, to your brother potentially. And they feel like it has a great impact on your romantic uh, connections or relationships or something like that. You do have the Jupiter in first house. If you are a guy, people feel like... Um, People are under impression that you easily gain weight in the uh, best ways, uh, like musculature and things like that. Uh, even for my feminines, like it's almost like you gain weight uh, at all the right parts in a way, basically. So <clears throat> it's almost like when the winter comes, your booty increases or I don't know, uh, certain parts of your body become more prominent. Uh, for both genders in a way and for all the rest of the genders wherever you consider yourself we do have the Rahu in nine house energy here so people feel like you have a very expansive mindset that you're somebody who could be potentially believer in more than one religion or uh, <clears throat> that you have explored and have a vast knowledge about more than one uh, religion. I also feel like uh, people feel like you make men in your life crazy about you. It's almost like you have this unique capability to make uh, men in your life cater to you basically. So if you have like father, brother, uh, husband, partner, situationship figure, People somehow always notice that you make uh, these figures crazy about you and willing to uh, bend over backwards uh, to kind of make you feel good or... Uh... Yeah, it's almost like people around you want to uh, 
they try to elevate your moods and uh, etc etc and so uh, people get really curious about the powers that you hold uh especially among males and this is even if you don't like guys romantically it can be that just platonically you have certain level of great respect from their side because you could have uh, like, for example, really well-placed Jupiter in your car, because we even have here in Jupiter in first house, where he's specifically very strong. Uh, so, regardless of whether you like men or not, uh, you enjoy uh, good respect uh, and adoration from their side. So, that's something very uh, interesting in this pile. Let me see what else do we have here. You do have the moon in uh, fifth house. So people feel like you're very intuitive about how you pick your uh, flings or romances. Or uh, this can even be clients, customers, etc, etc. So for example, if you are somebody who has a client-based business, you won't undertake just any client. Uh, they have to be on the same vibrational match as you or similar one. <clears throat> or if you have, I don't know, students, pupils, etc., etc., uh, it's almost like there is a good system of discrimination when it comes to uh, which type of student uh, you will undertake, uh, how do I say, under your wing or... Uh, something, something, where even if you have followers, uh, people are very curious and cognizant about the type of the follower that you attract. Uh, so that's a very interesting one in this, in here. Uh, we also do have the Mercury in Taurus. So, yeah, I just feel like it's almost like there's this energy of people feeling like you have a very charming speech that can kind of... Uh, mm, how do I say, you can, mm, it's almost like you can get away uh, with many things or you can get away with things that others would be punished for or persecuted or I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like for this pile, your vibe is such where uh, your karma will favor, favor you in certain instances, even if it's your fault or something like that. Because the universe got you, uh, has got your back, basically. You have done a lot of uh, many good deeds, is something what I'm sensing. So uh, you, can ev you could even uh, get away with basically your will and error or something like that. Uh, so... At least this is how people perceive, doesn't have to be totally true. You do have the Mercury in Taurus, so this can slow down your speech for some of you. So uh, it's almost like people feel like they could feel like you're a slow talker or like you prefer listening or uh, like you have your ways in making other people talk more than you and, you know, just gathering impressions. Uh, and the energy from their side. There's somebody who has a very calculating mind. <clears throat> Especially uh, with regards to what looks good on others. And uh, how do I say. How they can possibly level up their life. So it's almost like you could be somebody who. I don't know. If you start exercising. You could be the type of a person. Who could write people's exercise plans in half a year. Or uh, you're somebody who can really uh, give a good sense of advice. When it comes to style uh, of people as well. So. Yeah, I'm also sensing that your romantic counterparts uh, would want to share money uh in your romantic union, in marriage, however you see, uh, for whatever reason, or like they feel like you're somebody who could be financially adept in a sense where you know uh, which losses not to endure, kind of, in a way. So it's almost like you can avoid certain uh, expenditures, etc., etc. Uh, so this energy is very powerful in the pile. Yeah, and I feel like people 
feel like you have exponentially grown a lot professionally, even professionally from early age, or like some of you have cultivated certain skills from early age that are even serving you in profession somehow now, maybe you have read good books on human nature or how their how their mind operates or uh I don't know, it's something that you uh, have been doing from from the early age, basically from childhood, that you are still utilizing somehow today. Uh, people have witnessed that. Yeah, and people feel like you are somebody who has really good intuition about things that uh, don't have future or that won't take off. Uh, so... It's almost like some of your past flings are uh, like, it's amazing how she always knew that this will never take off or uh, that this is a false beginning, false start or something similar uh, to that. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did... Maybe check uh, the other pile as well for some more material. And, and if not, see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. Thank you for this. So for those who chose this la So, pile two, people's first impression. <clears throat> so for some of you people's first impression could kind of be that you're somewhat slightly in a conflict with your femininity inner femininity but hear me out on this one i feel like it's really interesting and not bad at all uh because i feel like there's almost instances with the five of wands where people kind of force you by their behavior, mannerisms, the way they uh, interact with you, especially men, if you're interested in them, uh, they force you to be more in your uh, masculine frame, basically. So uh, maybe you tend to attract 
or you have attracted in the past situations where your partners would be more on the passive side with the Knight of Pentacles, more on the lethargic uh, side. Maybe they would never uh, show an initiative or uh, you would sometimes feel like you have to be like the man in the house or uh, like they are not in their proper masculine frame and so you have to be more the more assertive one or you have to uh, create certain decisive moves and so uh, it's almost like people sometimes feel like you are forced to be in that frame and that it's only a matter of moment of the right situation of uh, right person when that uh, beautiful femininity of yours or like feminine side will fully blossom uh, and this can be applied even for guys or like even a, in platonic sense if you had to be more in your masculine frame uh, people are kind of saluting it they uh, admire it they admire uh, the fact that it's making you feel very sturdy or uh, it's making you very consistent in your goals uh, however, they're still, uh, they still can't wait that moment when you will uh, really flourish in the full spectrum of your femininity or whatever. But you also have the higher fund reverse. People feel like you could be also somebody who has or accepts like uh, unorthodox views when it comes to Empress here is reversed, either romantic unions or uh, marriage or even gender roles, maybe you are not uh, somebody who will insist uh, on the masculine feminine roles all the time or something like that or in all situations. So yeah, there's this great flexibility in you, but also people feel like, people do sense that you have strong feminine energy, but it's kind of repressed in a way. Uh, and they almost feel like that there's a right guy that's uh, right behind the corner for you because we do have King of Pentacles and Emperor figures here. Uh, so it's almost like some people wonder like, what will be your frame? What will be your mindset with the arrival of your hubby figure or uh, once you get really married or once you or your partner situation should really label the things properly and uh, start moving forward in a more ferocious manner so there's that but I also feel like uh, people feel like you're somebody who enjoys a lot of protection especially financial protection I'm getting like generational wealth for some for some and for the others, you did it on your own with the Nine of Pentacles. Nobody helped you. Uh, <clears throat> people feel like you are of money and that you, are, you will attract an equally well-off partner or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and there's also some people that kind of know that you have affection of a wealthy man or a person with privileges. Uh, so... <clears throat> It's a definitely loud message in this one, so if you had your suspicion that a well-set uh, man or woman uh, is having a thing for you, uh, it's a true in this one. Uh, and it's almost like people have noticed before you did or uh, something similar. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. Yeah, and I feel like people feel like you're very relaxed in situations where other people are losing their head or, uh, you know, um, that global empathy. Maybe you're somebody who doesn't suffer from global empathy or something like that. It's almost like you can turn off certain feelings uh, on demand. Uh, however, you had to learn this. This isn't something that's kind of natural or maybe you worked on your... Some of you... I will say it the way I see it. Some of you may have worked on yourself to become older. Maybe you have said certain affirmations to be less touched by emotions or to be less touched by other people's energetic influences. That's also something that's coming up. So people feel like you have great energetic, financial and physical protection. Maybe you are uh, living in a well-guarded place or... Uh, 
like in a con condo the, which is very safe neighborhood which is very safe even for some see how children are playing behind this emperor is what i'm sensing so and I also have this feeling that you offer offer this sensation of protection to others especially people to people who have been traumatized or are suffering from some form of PTSD or anxiety is what I'm sensing. I'm hearing even schizophrenia, paranoia. Maybe some of you of you had like family members that had to deal with that. Uh, people feel like you are a very good impact, a very uh, grounding impact on this type of individuals. Uh, so there's that. People also see you as somebody who, uh, how do I say, has a very strong, robust body. You're very strong physically for most of you. Uh, we do have the cancer in 11th house. So they feel like you're emotionally, emotionally invested in uh, wanting to provide for your loved ones. Even if you are a woman with this emperor and king of pentacles, you would very well manage, uh, let's say... That in the if the unfortunate circumstances happen, for example, and you have to be a single mother or something like that, or a single father, uh, people really see you as somebody who would successfully navigate uh, those circumstances. Or if you are now, uh, and it's almost like people that crush on you would love. Uh, they love the ideas of having an offspring with you because they feel like their child would be safe. Uh, if something happens to to them one day, uh, like it would have the best schools with this emperor and children playing behind, it would have like the best schools, the best education, the best of the food, the best of the clothes and of everything. And they know, they kind of know that you would give uh, everything to the child that you would possibly have or that you would adopt or... Uh, this even applies for those of you who relate with pets. People kind of know that your pets see the, the support. Oh, oh my God. They eat kind of supreme food in a way, uh, high quality products. Maybe you give them the vitamins. You tend for all of their uh, inner and outer need, basically. So, yeah, I just have people with this King of Pentacles and Emperor kind of feel like... Uh, I say everything is well uh, cared of in your presence. So a great parental figure, figure, especially father figure for some. Even as I said, if you are uh, feminine and you relate more to the masculine energy, or as I said, if you were in a situation that kind of forced you to develop that side as well, uh, people feel like you cope really well. Uh, so there's an energy of that. Uh, and I'm also getting that if you're a woman watching this interesting into guys who are more uh, feminine guy, interested into men, um, then in that case, people feel like you always attract uh, the most alpha males uh, romantically or, uh, you know, somehow, some way, like the strongest man in the village would be your husband or your boyfriend or something like that. Uh, Maybe your boyfriends are often into, I don't know, bodybuilding, powerlifting, etc, etc. Or people feel like you would prefer a boyfriend who is in some such such type of heavy discipline, boxing or something like that. So, uh, as I said, this is only first impression. Uh, doesn't have to be uh, exactly the true. Even it, it can even apply for those of you who are interested in women. Uh, you're re really wanting a woman that can uh, co-provide or uh, that can really, uh, how do I say, be your rock basically or something like that. So this kind of applies for both genders, uh, but in slightly different contexts. Uh, so we do have the Jupiter in 8th house, so people's first impression that... Uh, you can utilize a lot of personal charisma in order to achieve your uh, financial wealth in this car for whatever reason. 
For example, maybe if you are somebody who is entertainer or something like that, you have to use your personal charisma to succeed in your uh, work. Or if you are content creator, for example, you would have to use your personal charisma uh, to elevate your finances, etc., etc. So... Some people feel like if your income depended on how charming and charismatic you can be, you would literally be a millionaire or something like that. So that's also their first impression. We also have the moon in 8th house. So people kind of feel like you're somebody who is safe uh, to confide to. They don't feel like you will reveal their secrets or uh, you will badmouth them. I'm also getting the energy uh, that your friends or like ex-friends uh, feel like you're not a person who will bad mouth even after the friendship has ended or something like that. Uh, what's being told in, secret, in secrecy remains uh, secrecy, etc., uh, etc. Et we do have the cancer and fifth house. So if you do have children, you are very invested with them. Uh, if you would have them people assume that you are you would be very invested as i said uh, and even motherly uh, even if you are a guy or something like that so there's definitely there's both motherly and fatherly energy strongly uh, present in this pile and i'm also getting that your romantic interests instantly have that impression wow you are such a great uh, motherly energy and i'm such a great fatherly and we would be so uh, good together, you know, or something like that, or vice versa. <laughs> so, uh, apply how it resonates in your situation. We do have the Venus in terms, so people find you very to be very beautiful, uh, especially if you are a guy or more on the masculine side. However, uh, listening to this, or if you have like short hair on the shorter side, um, but. Uh, even in general for the rest of this pile. Some of you could be really ripped. We have this ripped horse here. Basically the horse has the six pack. <laughs> uh, so people feel like some parts of your body are really well defined. Uh, let me see. And people definitely view you with somebody uh, as somebody with amazing sense of style. Uh, and I'm also getting that uh, romantically people that are stylish are targeting you kind of because uh, they see that power couple or we could look, look so good together or something like that. There's an element of that definitely. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, maybe check uh, one of the other piles as well to get some more material. And if not, see you in the next stream. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening.